Speaking of those dudes. That that's exactly where I was gonna go with it. My God. So, so one thing, so I was wondering, like when I first saw the picture when they both dropped it, I'm like, why are they at Georgia Tech? Because I knew Roman played at Georgia Tech, you know, him and Megatron were on the same team. We all know that story. And I'm sitting, I'm like, but then like, why is why is Cody meeting them there? And then mm-hmm. I remembered he's from Georgia. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, God damn it. So many layers. Yeah. So they, they doing so many goddamn things when yeah. it comes to Roman. And I feel like it's just Roman. Roman's the only person that do is. cool shit like this. <laughs> Have a, a, a track the trailer pull up in the ring and destroy the ring. <laughs> like it's, what, bro? It, it's just Roman that they can do all this cool shit, all these Easter egg, all these symbolisms. When he looks to the left to look at, at, Man. at Paul Heyman, and he's not Paul, there. And then, I'm like, yo, the fact that they knew somebody on the internet would re- would recognize what Roman was doing right there. Man, I love it. I love it so much. It's good TV. The, the, this we've never seen nothing like this before. Mm-hmm. It's never happened. It's Man, never bad right now, man. <laughs> and it's just a Roman. Figure out that storytelling with some of these other people, please. Because listen, like like what we said last week, where they completely fumbled the storyline between the wide six. And Chad Gable, and then Chad Gable teaming up with American Alpha 2.0. I don't remember their names. American Made. Uh, their their names are American Made. I could be lying. I think oh. that's what it's called. They're called. Um, let me see. They were the something brothers, right? They the were Creed the brothers. Creed brothers. Yeah, yeah like, they're now American Made. Yeah. Like we all wanted to see Chad Gable go heel with the Creed brothers and be a stable. And somehow they try to do too much. And now it's, you know, it, it's going to be one of those things where it's going to take a little bit for the Creed, for American Maid to, to, you know, hit the ground and start running. They, uh, they got it sort of back on track. Yeah. I, 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 but, you know, with, with Kofi and, and Austin, I mean, not Austin, I was going to say Austin Creed because I'm thinking uh, with Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods, yeah. So, but even with that, it's like, look, it's going to take a storyline like this. And I, I don't want to see the wide six mess with, with, with Chad Gable no more. Please just leave that until later. When Chad America is done, no, I hope so. Cause I really just want, like, it would make, it would have made way more sense if they just attacked him and American made. And then now they doing three on three matches. And, and and you know moving around like that, then uh, I I just you know Otis I mean that pissed me off. But Roman Reigns, Cody Rhodes, like, let's just put a pin on uh on that. What what are your thoughts on uh, on the promo? And uh, listen, I it was shot beautifully. Mm-hmm. It w- it was it was a movie scene basically. Well, really well done. Um, I be wanting to hate stuff, but this was so good that, like, damn, like I, I wanted to be like, man, Cody, you corny talking about your dad, but it was just like the layers, like, nah, like my family been doing this, like this may be your stadium, but this is home, like he, and then he got that off, man, like I want to see part three between them. But I don't know when we get that. I I think we should get it two years down the road. Yeah, it's not this I don't want, or nothing like that. Listen, we need we need to put and I, I don't want to like say it like that, but like we need Roman and Rock at this year's mania. Like we we need that implosion of the bloodline. We need the bloodline colliding and you know, you know. Ro- I don't know what Triple H has in store, but you go to November, you do a goddamn Survivor Series match 
between the new bloodline and the old bloodline plus a Zami Zayn. You keep it moving. You think that I don't think that's happening. I don't think it happens either. It's one of those things too where it's like nobody should really go on Roman's team. Yeah. He was a he was literally a piece of shit to everybody and he hasn't done anything to redeem himself besides Looking from just this past SmackDown. So KO's looking at Cody real funny. It's like KO like it, KO is like battling himself at this point because he we all know he wants to stab Cody in the back, but he like mm-hmm. I'm trying to be a better person here. So why are you you know what I'm saying like you teaming up with him? Do you know what me and him been through for the past four years? And then you got Cody's other partner, uh, Randy Orton. We know what the bloodline did to him. Mm-hmm. So I think that's what the war games match will be it's going to be the bloodline g league versus roman cody rko and who else am i forgetting did i say kevin owens uh no so there you go that was your four i think that's the match because and- the dynamic of roman's partners all hating his guts and him having to work over them I, but I would even find it more interesting if it was just Roman on his own versus the new bloodline. Mm-hmm. And like maybe, you know, you get Roman to eliminate a couple of the bloodline members. Oh, and like then the. Gauntlet. Yeah. And then the, the last, you know, the last five, 10 minutes of the match is them obviously overpowering him. And beating the fuck out of him. And then you get Solo standing over Roman proper. Uh, you know, saying that he beat him in a match. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, that creates, you know, uh, now Roman has officially hit his lowest point. Where <laughs> he, he he officially has lost to the bloodline. Solo yeah. is can now properly take the, the, the role as tribal chief. And then that that makes it more interesting because, you know, the best way to to build somebody up is breaking them down. And Roman hasn't really like lost anything like the only reason why he's not tribal uh, tribal chief is because he lost that mania. It's Mm -hmm. not like he's lost to anybody else, though. Since then. So Cody reminded him of that, too. He was like two years ago. I told you this was going to happen. And I was like, (laughs) oh, so. And, and and it's one of those things where if you're Roman, all you gotta say is, but it took you two years to do that. Like Good God. I, was, I was still running that shit that whole time. So for for me, I feel like it would be interesting if if um if Roman or like what you said, like uh all these people team up with Roman for a Survivor Series match and KO doesn't go out. Yeah. Randy Orton doesn't go out. Cause they know they're like, yo, we're the backstabbers. Mm-hmm. We 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 not gonna get back with you to help you out when th- we wouldn't have done that shit yeah. if it was the other way around, and then maybe Co- it's just Cody and Roman versus the Bloodline, and they or, just get the shit beat out of them. And they that's, get smoked exactly <laughs> like that. That's that's how you elevate Solo. It's not by doing all this other you know weird shit and stuff like that. You you they gotta they gotta get creative. Come on, you gotta watch a couple of mobster movies. And, and figure this shit out, but um, listening to the blackout table. I like your guys' style.